Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Film Geek here. And last weekend, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to post the, this video. Uh, I forgot to make a review for it. But last weekend, I was at the theaters, and I saw the day after... No. No, I saw Independence Day. Um, no, that's, that's not right either. Um, Deep Impact... No. Noah's Ark. That was definitely Poseidon's adventure. Uh, no, what I saw last weekend was 2012. And in case you hadn't figured out by my uh, fake confusion, uh, 2012 was basically a mashup of every disaster movie ever fucking made. Um... I will give it props. The thing has some absolutely amazing and outstanding special effects. If you go strictly by body count and destruction of all kinds of things and the types of disasters going on, then this was the greatest disaster film of all time. But... If you actually give a damn about story, this movie was basically just a retelling of every disaster movie you can think of. You take them all, like, you know, Day After Tomorrow, Independence Day, Deep Impact, um, Poseidon's Adventure, I don't know, Titanic, Volcano, Dante's Peak, uh, all of them. Do this with it, and BAM! Movie form. There it is. One single solitary movie. That's kind of like pulsing, because it's a little bit too frickin' long. And apparently the director wants to make a, uh, a TV spin-off of this. Like, what happens after the movie. Um, I think that TV show would pretty much be a disaster. Uh, I understand that it would be kind of like in the vein of Lost, I guess. Um, I've never seen Lost. But... This movie did not make me give a shit about the characters enough to find out what happens next. It just didn't. I'm a huge, 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 huge John Cusack fan. Everyone who knows me knows that my three favorite actors of all time, John Cusack, Kevin Spacey, and uh, uh, John Connery, not necessarily in that order. They're kind of all three tied for first place. Um, so he did a pretty good job in this movie. Um, it wasn't his best work, but it wasn't his worst either. Um, actually, it might have been his worst, now that, now, now that I think about it. Uh, but it was, I don't know, it, it, it was he was decent. Um, I thought the standout performance in this movie actually went to Woody Harrelson, uh, who played this, like, kind of kooky conspiracy theorist uh, pirate radio guy. Um, I was really surprised by how good he was in this movie. Um, Oliver Pitt was, or all, I'm sorry, Oliver Platt was uh, was decent again. Um, he, he was a fairly believable bad guy, but I just didn't like his performance really um, that much. Uh, you know, the, it was like the he was a believable bad guy more in what he was doing rather than how he was doing it, if that makes sense. Um, who else was in Amanda Peet, terrible, as always. <laughs> um, Danny Glover was Danny Glover, you know? Danny Glover is always Danny Glover, period. Um, like I said, the story was just a mashup of everything. The action, it was a pretty intense movie. Um... I'll give it that much credit, too. It, a lot of disaster movies have, like, bang, 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 with, like, hit you with, like, a few big disasters, but then there's, like, all these, like, long lulls in between where nothing's going on. This movie kept the action nonstop, kept it coming. I dig that about the movie. So, so to give the movie its props, amazing, amazing, amazing special effects, great intensity and pacing. Bad things, too long, shitty acting, terrible fucking story, um, and those are pretty much the three things that really matter the most, you know, really. 
So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give 2012 a 2.012. I, I, I like them numbers. 2.012 out of 5 for 2012. Get it? Because it's 2.012. 20. Uh, yeah, you guys understand. I'll check you out next time I see a flick. Peace.